Ready? Hi. Oh, I gotta scan you. Last time on Subnautica, we ended in a very different location. We met Mama Sea Dragon. We met giant mama fish and the babies and the eggs. We got the recipe for hatching enzyme. And, oops, I want to look at my sea moth storage. We learned that there's all these warp gates to the different, to different locations, but I don't have enough ion cubes. So, oh, hi, Shameen, welcome in. So off stream, I found, where is it? Oh, I can't show you. Off stream, I found the drill. I can't build the actual module because I have to be, oh no, I guess I could build it here. Why did I think I couldn't build it here? Maybe we can build that in the moon pool. And I also found the suit. The upgraded suit. Finally, 16 days into the game and I won't get hurt by heat. It's been a wild ride. Where is this drill? Drill. Drill arm. I forgot that I can actually make that here and then bring it back. So I farmed some titanium off stream. I got the drill. I got the thermal suit. And we're going to take all that stuff back to the base. And that's about it. I think I have lithium in one of these. Mm, is all my lithium back at the base? That might be a problem then. Does this have anything in it? Just med kits. And a battery. Sure, I'll take that for the road. So, say bye to surface base. We're heading back. I kind of want to see if I can take my sea moth through the barrier at... Oh, no, that won't work. I was going to say through the barrier at the enforcement platform. But because it comes out below 900 meters, I think. So that would never work. I would crush the poor thing. And I don't think it has any heat protection. So we're just going back to our base. Welcome aboard all systems online. What's the quickest way there? Mm, 14, I think, is a good way. These are all muted. Last time on the uh, on the Discord stream, I went back to, I think it was LifePod 19. And back to the Grand Reef. And that was really helpful, too. We found some good stuff. Oh, hello. Where is this beacon? Just did a full circle and I don't see it. Do I have to turn it off and back on? Probably. What? Where? I thought beacon 14 was up above one of the entrances to the caves. Am I just missing it every time I turn around? Uh, that's just baby tree base. Where? Where? Why? Okay. Oh. Oh, Beacon 14 is the thermal plant. Never mind. 
Above orbs. What does that mean? Where did I used to go in? I think by the alien vent then. Let's just do that. There's so many ways to get there and I don't ever remember any of them. Except for this one. Making the trek. We have a lot to do today. My plan is to use the drill, go to the alien base, get a bunch of ion cubes. So that's going to be a hassle because <laughs> getting to and from, that was the first thing we did after stream was leave the containment facility. And it is tricky getting out of there in just the prawn suit. It's dicey. I'm sure this is fine. Why? This drop off is super dangerous. Why am I out here? I hear unpleasant noises. Then, after we do this ion cube thing, we're gonna focus on getting all the ingredients for the hatching serum. Whatever it's called. Hatching initializer. Oh, goodness. But this is the way I know how to get down, I think. So this is what we're gonna do. So dark. <laughs> Warpers, don't perceive me. I think it perceived me. This looks promising. Follow the green stuff. Cool, cool, cool. And then we've got one crab squid to sneak past, I think. Am I going the wrong way? Apparently not sneak past, apparently get caught by. Yikes. Don't perceive me, I'm just going on a little trip to my base. Yeah, it's fine. We're, we're good friends. Derek, how's it going? Welcome in. Okay. Then I keep going to the back. And looking for blue stuff. That's not it. Ooh. Rip. Um. Is it up here? Maybe. giving us some very exciting music. Something chasing me? What is happening? Nope, just getting exciting music. Smack. Um, I'm pretty 
pretty sure I went the wrong way. <laughs> This leads to nowhere. This leads maybe is one of the ways you can get up and out, but that's not what we want. Uh, there's my beacon, I should just follow that. Smack. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, there's like a drop off over here that I forgot about. Hi, Green Mazing. Welcome in. How are you? Nope, this leads into the ground. <laughs> we'll get it eventually. How did I get so turned around down here? Because which way do I normally come down here with the submarine? That's the beacon that I couldn't that I couldn't find, that I don't remember where it is. I set a little beacon so that I could drive the, cy drive the cyclops out to a point where then I can just descend down and drive in like a tunnel. This is looking promising. Yeah. Just go north. Doing good? I'm glad to hear it. Ooh. Uh, Subnautica's going well. We have big plans today. Big plans for maybe hatching some, some sea dragon eggs. Maybe healing ourselves? Then we won't be infected anymore? Uh, I gotta be careful in this room not to go too low. Wee Tunnel vision! These rays are so pretty. Hi, remember me? I live here. <laughs> I live right here in this base. Hooray. All right, we're safely parked. I can carry some of this. But not all. Let's go, oops, wait, let's leave one of those. So I have room to grab a lithium. The missing piece for the drill. Howdy neighbors, yeah. The rays are our neighbors. Okay, okay, this is good. And then I think we just go to the moon pool. This world does feel very alive. Mm-hmm. Thanks to the well-made creatures. So many creature friends. Did I show off the new suit? Here. This is what I look like. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm all black and orange now. Instead of that bright blue thing on my, like, display on my chest that you can usually see. We want this! The drill! I'm 
nervous. What if it doesn't work? That's the main thing I wanted to craft. We have enough materials for some other for some other mods for the Cyclops. But we're getting down to not really needing too many more mods. Do I have a list for the drill materials? No, we just made it. I don't need to check it off of a list. Okay. So we're going to make the right hand the drill because the left hand still needs to be able to pick up whatever we drill. And put this arm in here. What are these doing in there? Probably my storage got full. Exciting. Step one. Done. Back to the Defiant. Step two, is this full? No. Do I make another locker? Yeah. I feel like we have to. Storage is such a hot commodity. Let's make one here. Just this is fine. Uh, this button, yeah. Can never have too much titanium. And the gold is for making more polyaniline if I decide I want to do that. And the ion cubes are for the warp gates. Oh, we can put the kyanite in there because you can use it for... No, wait, you can't use it for batteries. You can use ion cubes for batteries. If you want. You don't have to. This is all the stuff I need less often. <laughs> This is the junk drawer of storage. Are we ready to go back then? I think so. Let's go set up some warp gates. I still think it would be cool if you could take the sea moth through the underwater warp gate. Fully charged, 98% health. Oh, we might, well, we might want the grapple, but we'll worry about that later. Let's save. Please wait, waiting, there we go. I haven't even tried the drill yet. What does it look like? Here, we can drill this. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, it automatically puts it in my my prawn suit storage. Interesting. That was kind of an abrupt music switch. It seems darker down here than usual, or is it the same? Perhaps the same. I'm gonna go see our sea dragon friends again. Oh, let's not fall directly into the lava. Wish you could drill those little lava bubbles. Pick up obsidian and make something cool with it. Oh, oh, excuse you. Now we can drill these. But I need to save storage space for uh, ion cubes. How much does this give us? Oh, Warper, no. Leave me alone. There's two of them. Oh, it takes a long time to break down. Did I get any of it? It's breaking pieces off. This is a lot. Do I, like, not have room for it? What? Oh god. I'd rather you chomp the prawn suit. And not me. So you don't get any unless you drill through this whole thing? The noise is really kind of jarring. You have to do all of that for two pieces? That's absurd. Leave me alone. I will prawn punch you. like oddly windy. Windy down here. Oh, that's, that one skeleton always throws me off. Ooh, I hear noises. 
Is this going to be close to the crater? I think so. There's another skeleton. Those are usually close to the crater. I kind of want to go in here. I'll resist the urge, but we're going to get hecked up. No! No, you can't destroy me! Are you shooting through the floor? Where are you? Oh my god! Okay, we died. Oh, I thought we died? What in the world? Did you pull me through the wall? I think you pulled me through the wall. Dang it! I don't like their yelling. But the creature is kind of cool. Alright. That was exciting. That's a bummer, yeah! <laughs> we could have saved it if we hadn't glitched through the wall. What the heck? Yes! 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 Ugh. Yes! Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. And Dryad Dragoon, welcome in. Thanks for popping in to see some getting chomped by dragons. <laughs> I'll be more careful next time. I took forever finding the entrance, too. It takes me... I wonder... I should start going down there with the... Cyclops. I bet it's so much faster than this trek. We could add the thermal upgrade to the Cyclops. The only thing that's annoying about bringing the Cyclops with us is... Oh, is, is the larva draining the battery? But if we have the thermal mod, they can just drain it and we can resupply in an endless loop. Never experienced a dragon going through the ground before? Last time it, um, no, I think it was when I was, was collecting resources in, uh, like a Discord stream. It went through the caverns that are right in front of the thermal plant, and it damaged me in there. It was very bizarre. Like, this dragon has no boundaries. It just comes through whatever walls it wants to. And it was glitching into the containment facility, too. But it wasn't hurting me in there. You could just see it swimming through the lobby. <laughs> just checking on things. It was just doing a nice little pass through. Guarding all the warp gates. Um, I do have a beacon for the thermal plant. Maybe I should use that and that'll help me to get where I'm going quicker. Those two warpers appear in the same spot every time. So it seems. Use this as an entrance up here that's not directly next to the sea dragon, like that other place. Yeah, I think we can go down here. Okay. Let's do that. Let's go through here. I wanted to find this last time and I never could, so this is nice, I guess. A little bit of a volcano, you know. In we go. Yikes. Hmm. 
Warpers, don't even think about it. I'm busy. I'm on a mission. Oh, God. What's the best strategy for me here? I can't really go right around it. Can I try to sneak underneath it? Oh, God. Are you doing a lap because you saw me? Follow the green stuff. I don't have the grapple equipped. I don't think I can just go straight for it like this. No! You're frying my machine! God, the noise that it makes! Just a little love chomp. I'm assuming you don't let me go after just one chomp. You, like, keep chasing me. Our health is good, but the suit of the- the status of the prawn suit is not great. Oh my god, this is frustrating! No, please let me get to these rocks! Eek! <sighs> come on, come on, we're almost there. We're so dang slow. Please, I'm never coming through this cavern. We got so lucky the first time I ever did this. Goodness. Are you gonna glitch through this lobby again? We made it. Oh. <sighs> I know. All right, be well. Let's save. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Oh, no, we need to go up the Welcome stairs with you. Captain. Please don't glitch. I'm supposed to go up the right side because the left side is glitchy. It's our entrance music. So this is going to give me like two cubes after drilling it. Did I, st did I stick? Oh my god. Just let me, just let me get through this part of the game. We've tried grappling to unstick ourselves before, but it really... Once you're stuck to the ground, you're just stuck. It doesn't like it. Come on. All right, go up the right side of the stairs. Get this awful entrance noise again, and then maybe... Maybe just, just straight, straight up here. working? Is it doing anything? Okay. How do I... Can I pick this up? Are those ones not broken apart? I got one. Maybe I have to keep going. And I think it's gonna make more. Sunday. Oh, it's making more. Cool. I feel the urge to just continuously save because we keep glitching into the floor. 
Let's start figuring out where these go. I think we have four cubes now. Doing pretty good, yeah. It's been a good weekend. Hoping that we don't... That we can finish this game and that it doesn't glitch out completely. All right, let's see where this one goes. And it still ain't over, yeah. We've still got lots to do. Oh, the weekend ain't over, yes. <laughs> There's plenty of weekend left. <laughs> um. Excuse you? Can you not tear down the facility? Thanks. Was your frames at? Some games act weird if you go above a certain frame rate. It's just 60 FPS. Um, I feel like that should be pretty normal. Poor Canolo's dose, true. No swimming allowed in here. We've had so many creatures swimming where they're not supposed to. I think I'll just, what do I have in storage? Nothing. I was gonna say it would be cool to make a, a sign that says which ones go to which, but I don't know if you'd be able to put your own furniture in these facilities. This one goes to, this is the sh shark, the bone shark cave, I think. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. I appreciate it. I don't actually remember this one. I don't think I ever came here. Is this inside enforcement platform, like the mountain? Oh, this just does a little a cute little circle. Don't answer that, actually. Let me find let me try to figure it out. Is this inside? Cause the one inside, inside the enforcement platform had all those little crabs running around. I want this. Is this inside of the mountain with the Takazi habitat? Is that just me making a circle? What the heck? Where is this? Is this like right next to a reaper habitat or something? I'm gonna keep saving. Where is this? Just chilling in the wall by some shelf. Do these take us super far away from our home base, maybe? Some of them are places that we would, like, never be able to reach. Oh, this reminds me of the... This is a different entrance to... The caves? God, I have no idea. Let's table that. Oh god, am I going to be able to find it? Maybe. Maybe not. Good thing we saved. Oh, it's right here. 
weird. So maybe none of these go to places we've already seen? That's also a possibility. Okay. Fun. Let's go through the goo. Are you broken? Because you stood up. It's not always a good sign. Please don't stick to the floor. God, no. Do you all have any advice for this? It's constant. Oh, no. I almost started a new file. <laughs> what the heck? I might... Warning. Emergency power only. Maybe Oxygen mess with OBS? and see if there's anything else I can do as far as lowering the frame rate, if that's really causing it to increase um, the number of glitches we get, then yeah, I can try to change it. I would like to not be fearful every time I walk down a ramp. Okay, where does this one go? Oh, I have to get it out of storage. Do we want to put the grappling arm back on this? Mm, I don't know, undecided. Where does this one go? You can stay there, it's fine. More goo. I feel like these are all places I never went. Well. Now we're learning. Save. Is this close to home? Is this by the Mesmers? Oh, wild. Okay. Are all these gonna be by a different ingredient that I need? I need fungus. There we go. This is trippy. What are you? Oh, I don't think I need to scan this. Yeah, it just gives us titanium. We are making good progress. 
but I get lost pretty easily. It's a lot to take in. Under here. <laughs> oh, this looks promising. Okay, we got some fungal samples. So what was it, the last one that I didn't pick up? Oh, duh. Those big bubbly things. Do I even need to keep wearing the prom suit? Welcome I don't think so. I only needed to keep drilling for more cubes. So maybe you can hang out here until I need you again. Thank you. I want to go back and get a sample of the bulb thing. Whatever it is. Whee! Through the portal. Thank you, thank you. Excellent. And then we need a sea crown and I can't remember what else. Some stuff that's some stuff that's pretty common. Pygmy bulb bush? That's normal, right? I should probably review my notes. What the heck? This game is so glitchy. Now I'm just... Oh, that was so weird. My controller... Nothing was responding. Hatching enzymes. Fungal sample, bulb bush sample, ghost weed seed, sea crown seed, eye stalk seed. Um, I only need one of these. That's so alarming. So, oh god, okay. Oh, I think. What if we need to make more than one hatching enzyme? What if we need one for the hatchlings and one for us because it's actually the cure? Go through! Rad, thank you. That's two down. We're sprinting. See where this one goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This animation is so long. It's cool, but it takes forever. These aren't sea crowns, right? This is an amoeba or something. Oh, it doesn't even tell me what it is. Can I get a sample of it? Oh, my buttons are reversed. That is so weird. I don't know what that is. We've been here before. This comes out near one of the skeletons and near the ghost leviathan. I think. I swear this had a name. I don't know that there's anything I need to collect here. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm maybe just gonna scoot back in here. Because I don't know if I need anything there right now. Okay. Can we survive this now with our fancy suit? No. The suit only works against heat. Not acid. Good to know. This is just a nice warp because it's that's how we're gonna get out of here once we're done. It's closer to our base. Way closer to our base. But it will be annoying to get around that baby ghost. And this is the last one. Where do you go? <laughs> exactly, Indy. Baby ghost. Makes one cool noise, though. There's little digital crabs here. Wait, were those always around the enforcement platform? Because that's what this reminds me of. There's a regular crab, not a digital crab. Oh. this save who's over here bone sharks typical can't see anything or oh, these eyeball stalks though yeah. Oh, we're gonna get two samples. Okay. Hi. 
How are all these doors just completely hidden in plain sight? They're right there. I found none of them. I found one of them. Analog crabs instead of digital crabs, yeah. They come in many varieties. What's this sparkly stuff? It's luring me in and it's working. So now we're missing Sea Crown and Ghostweed. Ghostweed is easy. Sea Crown, I'm a little fuzzier on. We just got the Ghostweed. And then if I read about Sea Crown in here, it'll probably help me figure out where it is. This one? Not fauna, flora. I'm ex I'm assuming it's exploitable. Nope. It is... It's rare. I wonder if it's in the main cavern with the sea, the sea emperor? Maybe that's the key. How goes the nightmare that is my fear of water? The game, it's so fun. <laughs> I love, I love your fear. We're making good progress. We're gonna finish it soon-ish, I think. We're playing biology researcher and collecting plant samples. This cave is really cool. I could see where I got confused and never made it all the way up here to the warp arch. Or maybe I, I maybe I did make it to this arch. I it, I have trouble remembering. There's it's hard to tell because if I couldn't turn it on, I was like, oh cool, just another arch. All right. Let's go. Now I think we want to go check the big cave. You know where... Oh. Isn't that other arch close to the disease research facility? Didn't that have some, like, grow tanks in there? I wonder if there's a sea crown in one of the research facilities. A sample of it or something. That could be the answer. This is where our dear friend is hanging out. So we're gonna go say hi. Can I get out of here if I don't have the prawn suit on? Let's not risk it, perhaps. Okay, we're gonna save before we get in the prawn suit in case it glitches. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Please behave. Thank you. You are notoriously misbehaving. Wait, and I don't even have... I have the grapple in storage. We're just gonna try it. No, you can't get out of here without it? Is it this? Grab the ledge! They really said no ladder for you. It's kind of unsettling. Alright. Wait, where is our friend?
chillin'. Hi. I'm looking for, uh, for a sea crown. You okay? You good? You all right? See brain coral. Oh, what's down here? Sea crown? Crabs? Is this how you get out if you lose your, um, prawn suit? I don't think we ever went down here. Sea crown. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. One, two, three, four, And we have two small spaces for ghost weed, but I don't know if it's going to take up a big space or a small space. Is that it right there? No, that's Gabe's feather, I think. The plant life in this area is growing outside its normal conditions. Other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting this environmental deficit. What is that? What did that say? Other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation may be offsetting the environmental deficit. Huh. So these normally wouldn't grow here, but there's a little bit of everything. Maybe I didn't need to use all those warps. Maybe I just needed to harvest what I what I what I need from in here. Gabe's feather. That's what I thought. Just wanted to make sure. Oh. What are you doing down here? Okay. Oh. What is happening? East, welcome in. How's it going? Huh. Okay, hi. Yes, hello. We're all friends here. I'm just looking for bonk. Some, uh... Ghost weed, I don't think I'm gonna find it here. I think I'm gonna find it in the normal place that we would find it. Now I'm curious what I missed though. All these little crevices. It's over here. Do I get scanner bubbles if I'm not in the thing? Hmm. It's grow it's glowing so green. Oh, please don't glitch into anything. Why was it so green over here? 
What what in the world is happening? I was able to like see down below there for a second. Okay, okay. I see you, game. Making me second guess myself. What's over here? What's over here? Welcome to Earth. Thank you for the host. Hi, Chuck. Welcome in. What are these red things? There's many scary noises, even though this room shouldn't be scary. And thank you for using your channel points for the Elden Ring challenge. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good Sunday. A good weekend. A lot of people have a long weekend, which is nice. I don't think there's anything else down here. Okay, um, what's the quickest way for us to get some ghost weed? <laughs> I'm trying to think if we go to maybe the, in the enforcement platform, but that's right next to Reapers. Adam, thank you for contributing to the Elden Ring challenge. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh god. Why is it so glitchy? How are you, Adam? I'm working on it. I feel like I'm not going fast enough. All right, well, we might as well try it since we're here. And I don't think any of the other, the other ones were near ghost weed. Oh, goodness. So we'll save since we didn't glitch through the wall. Also, I just, I was trying to look at the um, depth meter that time more closely. I never see it jump. I'm always looking away. But that time I noticed the jump. It's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna go down and see what happens. See if we get eaten by a reaper. Or a warper, apparently. I'm well. How are you? I'm ending Sunday here, chilling with Cozy Stream. I'm glad it's cozy. I'm doing really good. Doing really good today. I had a, a really good brain weekend, like. Oh, we're gonna get eaten. My mental health was good this weekend, so still riding that, holding on to it as long as I can. There you are. 
<laughs> we haven't seen you in ages. What's up, friend? Um. Oh my god, you can drill its face. What is happening? Did you release me? Did I kill you? It like disappeared. That was not cozy and chill at all. That was alarming. No, it's still here. It's still here and it's mad. You can't see anything, but there's no ghost suite here. It's just a sandy floor. There you are. I think we're gonna go back to our save. This was uh, fruitless. Can you put me down, please? What's this light down here? Oh, this is that little cave. Is this our cave salvation? Where I do a quick repair. Is that all that I need to do is repair? The oh, you can't come in here? What the heck? Why does this keep happening? Leviathans, please. You can't fit in small spaces like this. Is this your burrow, actually? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm stuck. What happens if I move? Do I dislodge you? Oh, that is so creepy. This game is weird. Too dark for this. Going back to our safe place. Goodness. Was it worth it? I don't know. No, because we didn't get ghost weed. Um, repair tool. Welcome to Hold Captain. No. What the heck? I didn't press the button. Uh, mistake. Hi, welcome in. Thanks for using your channel points. For the Elden Ring stream. Okay, 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 and done. Am I stuck? No, I think it's okay. But I think I need the grapple to get out of here. Honestly, today has just been mostly glitches. Let's grab the grapple. And go to the upgrades panel. And we'll do this. Hello, I'm here, but only for a brief moment. Hope you're having a good day. You too. Thanks for stopping in. It's been good.
We, uh, we've been hanging out with this giant, uh, fish. Nope, that's the drill button. Oh, come on. Uh, no, I'm landing right on your head! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to. Is there like an evil route in this game where you can attack the Sea Emperor? I hope not. Maybe don't answer that yet, but it's almost time to answer questions like that. I keep forgetting which button does which. Okay, here, I just need to hang on with the grapple for a second, recharge the jetpack, and then go. Okay. No, nope, that didn't work. No, nope, I need to like grapple actually a surface. There we go. Just land on top here. Walk over this way. And jump. Nice. We're stuck. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember where the last save was. Hopefully after we got the sea crown. I might call it. We might, like just end stream early today so I can figure out how to get the prawn suit to stop glitching. I know I don't need to be in it all the time, but this is really aggravating. And maybe I can like look up some tips off stream that'll help us not have it glitch so often. Cause what the heck? So I think we saved when we came back from this excursion. Or maybe after I repaired everything? I don't know. <sighs> it didn't give us anywhere near this much trouble the last time. Especially not underwater. But then the second I get on land, it gives us trouble again. Um, let's get the grapple again. Upgrades, yep. Welcome aboard, Captain. And it's this one? Yeah. Weird. But the buttons are reverse. It's having me do right trigger for the left arm. Well, that was easier this time. Please don't glitch. Oops, that's the wrong spot. I got turned around. Please don't glitch. Okay, that's a good sign. Making water noises on land. Wonderful. 
Um, our last thing, ghost weed. Maybe can get, can be near the ghost leviathan. You can use a particular piece of equipment on the prawn suit to unstick it. I've tried using the grapple. Um, hey, Potaster, welcome in. Thank you. The grapple, and it, it doesn't usually unstick it for me. I have yet to be successful. I don't know. Maybe the drill, maybe the torpedo arm or something like that. It I can move, but my feet stay stuck to the floor. Not the grapple. It's very frustrating. I was hoping to knock out this recipe today and we're ke we keep getting stuck. You can use the grapple when you're on foot. I think. Yeah. Hi Crimson, welcome in. I do have everything other than ghost weed, yeah. You might have it, but not on you now um like the repulsion cannon or something like that yeah yeah i know what you mean let's take uh of course this is always a bad idea let's take some of this and put it in here so that i'm not out of storage by the time i find the ghost weed although now i have ample room for tons of stuff Saving again. Let's try... I wanted to go in this door. Oh, I might be super turned around. It's hard to remember which door is which. Please don't glitch. No glitching allowed. Oh, goodness. Which one are you? I don't think you're the one that I wanted. They use the cannon on the prawn suit. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So if I can get back to my base and grab the cannon, that'll help. Thank you. We will try that. try this one. I never know which door is which until I get to the cave exit. Yep. I thought about making, actually I'll just say for to ask that. Can you make signs and put them in an alien facility or will they only, can you only put them in a habitat? I'm guessing they're not compatible. It would be cool if you could make a sign. Make a little label. This isn't it because it's 239 meters. This is too shallow. I'm pretty sure. So much green. It's so green. No! <sighs> I think signs have to be in the base, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense, that's what I figured. We can try, we could test it. What do you need to build a sign? Titanium and something else, maybe glass. I don't know. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Thank you.
Um, so when did I... I put stuff in storage. I think that was the last thing I did. Uh, Trotamundos, welcome in. I have... I don't think I've... Have I killed any leviathans? No. I hope not. They're beautiful creatures. I'm a big fan. I'm just curious if we could even make one right now to test it, if I have enough supplies to make the little sign. Copper wire. That's not what I was expecting. Okay, so it was neither of those. Let's try these two now. That was loud. Please be this one. <clears throat> this is it. 278. I don't think it's this one. Wait, did I cross over and do the same one? I thought I was being so methodical. Apparently not. <clears throat> Did two of them have ceilings like that? I thought only one of them had a ceiling like that. Oh, this is so aggravating. I'm gonna write this down. What is this item? It doesn't say after I've done I'm done scanning it. Okay, we're gonna call it a boomerang. <clears throat> boomerang is the stalactite door. Okay. And then the empty one. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's like the nanobots container is gonna be the the store over here. This is 611 meters. Oh, weird. So there are two that have the stalactite ceiling. But I don't know which is which. But this is the one we want. This is the Lost River one. It's next to the case with nanobots in it. Uh, let's save again. And let's try to get past a ghost leviathan. These, have we ever... Oh god, what if it glitches? Check to see if these were shallow. Because sometimes they hide stuff under there. Save again, and we're gonna make a swim for it. We have the grapple equipped. I know there's a ghost in here. It's gonna be okay. Oh, hi, I see you swimming for me. It's all right, we're friends. We're friends. It's fine. Is this a dead end? 
<laughs> I am turned around. Hi. I'm trying to heal you. I'm trying to get the enzyme. Does that go, Swede? <gasps> I, th I think it is. You gonna let me get this real quick? If I jump out of this while we're in the acid, though, it's gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt me. It's still gonna hurt me. Worth it! Oh, maybe this- maybe this does protect us? I can't figure it out. Let's go! Swim, 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 swim. To the drop-off, wherever it is. So yeah, there was one sample per... Oops. Uh, per entrance. And then the... The fancy... Oh gosh. Ex ex the rare one, the almost extinct one, was in the main cavern with the sea dragon. It's not, I can't see anything. It's so cloudy. Or it's not loading. Or a little bit of both. Baby tree cave! Let's go this way. Come on. Come on. This way. What's happening? What's my... Okay, we're at 91 health. That's not bad. Oh god. I wanted to land there <clears throat> and rest for a second, not just tumble head first. Feet first on top of the river prowler's head. Making some fun noises, huh? This is good. Let's chill for a second. Here, I need to move the mic this way so I can see a little bit better. Ready, go. I'm just trying not to hold my breath getting back here, but I think we're safe. Why are my Seamoth lights on? I swear I turned them off. I always try to turn them off before we leave. Sketchy. I call a glitch. <laughs> Oh, for a second I thought that we had lost power to the moon pool. It's possible. Neat. Let's check how it's doing at least. Should be fine. Everyone is out on their motorcycles this weekend. There have been so many loud ones that drove by my house. Yeah, this is powered on plenty. Just don't put the wrong sample in here. Okay. Oh, and I need to get stuff out of storage. Honestly, I can trade the sea glide for this bio sample because I need the bio sample more. Would corrections on statements about things already found be a spoiler? Um, ooh, that was weird. Yeah, yeah, because now I know I did something wrong that you said that. Let me, like, let me have the mistake moment. 
it's it's fine to ask that though, Crimson. Um, but now I know that I messed something up. <laughs> Before I found out that I messed something up. Um. This is like looking real weird. I still don't think I'm gonna have enough room either way though. I mean, let's just do one of each for now. It's the, is it the bulb bush? Did I pick the wrong one of those? Probably. No, they're all there. An organic substance derived from plants found in the Emperor's natural breeding grounds designed to trigger a hatching response. I grabbed two of each because I thought I would want to make one for me too so I can hatch. No, in case it's the, uh, the cure. Now I'm curious though. If it's actually something else, um. Is this gonna be like Ocarina of Time and this is, this has a timer on it and we have to deliver it in X amount of minutes? Wait, I can make a couple of them from, oh no. Okay, we did it. Let's make two. I need all that in there? Sure. Okay. Now we can get back there with the sea moth. I like I like swimming through that one cavern with the sea moth better than with the prawn suit. So let's do that. Am I gonna need... No, but it's so weird. I'm gonna need the prawn suit to get out of the chamber after giving the hatching enzymes. Why is this so difficult to get vehicles around that I like using? My buttons are all messed up. I don't understand. So what's the good of having... Wait, is it is it that I can get out of that chamber without the prawn suit? You have to, because what's the good of having all those warp doors if 
you can't get out without the prawn suit. Is that what you mean, Crimson? You can answer that. Sorry, I just thought it was about the enzyme, and I was very confused. What's the best way to get there? Why do you think the prawn suit is only a way out of the room? Because I can warp out to go to enforcement platform, which I don't want to do because I don't have a vehicle by the enforcement platform, or I can jump out with a prawn suit like i tried swimming without the prawn suit up to the surface of the water and there isn't a ledge that was low enough for me to jump out like getting out of that moon pool pool water situation is really wonky It's this way? Yeah. Ghost Leviathan time. Baby Leviathan doesn't it's not quite as catchy it doesn't have quite the same ring to it you can't get to me under there right i snuck through the branches hey zifnab welcome in all right pr uh not prawn suit sea moth be well Take care of yourself. I'll be back for you. You're my transport. We made a uh, we made the hatching enzyme. That is what we have done. We made two of them. And I'm going back to deliver it. I'm pretty excited about it. Have I done a self scan in a while? Infected. Still infected. You found Sea Crown. Where do you find it? It's always so elusive. It's in the, it's in the habitat with the Sea Emperor. Cause all of those doors led to a different sample, except for Sea Crown. And it said it was near extinct in the PDA. So I was like, well, the Sea Emperor is near extinct. And it also has a really kind of like nicely written. Um, it has a nicely written entry. It says, um, plant consists primarily of a large bladder like sac containing a huge variety of bacterial species, which may enable it to break down complex compounds it draws from the root system. Shares genetic code with membrane tree. I don't know, it just sounded like something that would be in the environment that makes it capable for the sea emperor to hatch. It made sense that that was where it was. The pool jump out is inconsistent. Yeah, it was like it was hard for me to get out of the pool with the prawn suit on. <laughs>
Well, we'll I mean, we're gonna go try it. I forget what's, oh, that's the scary, noisy entrance. So this is where we're going. I get so turned around in this room because I always think this is the entrance over here and it's definitely not. Is it that underneath there? No. Maybe? Well, here we go. Like this? Oh. It seems like this would be too short for you to fit. And then where do I go? I'm stuck here. This is shallow. I'm trying to get out. There we go. It's hard to get out of the pool after you jump in. Everything else in the in the game has like a slope. <laughs> and this is the first time they're like, "No, you have to learn how to jump out of the pool on your own." Okay, but I didn't bring another oxygen source, so we gotta be quick here. Gotta be hasty. Hi! I brought you a present! You're so freaking cool! Okay, okay. Be hasty as I get sidetracked. We almost stopped playing earlier because the prawn suit kept glitching on everything and I was really beat up about it. But it seems to be better now because we're not using the prawn suit at the moment. I'm going to save right here. Ready? Hi. Oh, I gotta scan you. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button because my buttons are messed up. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. Look at you go. They're swimming all over. Be free. Okay, was I exposed to the enzyme? Am I cured now? Let's go get some oxygen. I'm making noises. I'm missing out on the family reunion. How's everybody doing? Oh, hi. My young are swimming for the shallows. Yeah. I thank you. Yeah. Their freedom is my end. No. What will it be like, I wonder? To no. Go to sleep and never wake up. Perhaps next we meet. I will be an ocean current, carrying oh. seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Cool. Farewell, friend. We're friends! Are, are you gonna make a big noise? Like that other time? Can I scan you now? <laughs> and the young left for the shallows. It's so sad, but so happy. OK. 
Okay. Now what? Let's go up here. Nope, that's the wrong side. Swim towards the lights, I suppose. Ugh. Is it not this one? Is it like the side over here? I hate this. Let me out. Why is it so hard to get out of here? God. All right, let's do a self scan. Are we exposed to the thing? We're still infected. I tried the sea glide and I couldn't get that to work either. I mean, I know it does work, but I like it didn't work for me. I feel like I need a running start. Goodness, that's absurd. Just put a ladder. Just put a ladder like everywhere else in the game. Cl a to climb ladder. <laughs> oh well. So now what? We can't leave. Because we're still infected. See Emperor Juvenile. A juvenile emperor specimen, it is producing a highly potent form of enzyme 42, which should be capable, oh, it's from not the hatching enzyme, but from the juvenile, of cap of fully curing individ individuals of the alien bacterium. The species hatches relatively fully formed and independent. Sorry, I gotta move the mic again. Uh, perhaps reflecting the fact they must fend for themselves when they are first born away from their parents. The specimen is healthy and exhibiting signs of a positive attitude to life. Aww. Um... Do you want to know the dev solution for getting out of the pool? Sure. Wait, so there were all these healthy friends in here. And I just let them swim, swim away? How can I get the enzyme from them without hurting them? I follow you out here? I'm saving again. Do the green. They're all out here. Hi. You just spit up little bubbles. Seems kind of weird that I had to come out here to do this. Why couldn't I do this in the other chamber? I'm transforming! Thank you! Okay, well, um... 
We're right here, so... Hi, Birdo. Welcome in. They put a portal that comes out above the pool. Oh, yeah. That's what that portal is for. I was asking about that. Is there anything down here? No. See, that one has a slope. More slopes. <laughs> I hate to admit this, it took me like two hours to figure out I should touch the bubbles. There's not any other bubbles in the game. The brain coral bubbles is the only other ones I can think of. Yeah. You gotta touch the bubble. And become sparkly. I get so lost in this facility, I have no idea where the little disease pokey pokey thing is. I feel like once I deactivate this, the aliens are gonna come hunt me down. And be like, no, turn it back on. Doesn't this make a giant loop, though? If I go up here, it connects to that other area? We'll find out. Neat. Oh, missed opportunity to say energize. It's this room. Nope. I'm gonna turn off these bubbles. Click, click, click. Um, yeah, turn off this. Turn off this. Disease pokey pokey thing sounds kind of scary. It is scary. <laughs> but its purpose is for good. Is this the other entrance? I think this is the main entrance by the beach. I just did a big loop and didn't see what I needed to see. <laughs> oh. Remember this weird glitchy school of fish that always spawns here for me? Bye! Huh? Huh? Parkour! Huh? Whee! Oops, fall damage. <laughs> it was fun though. <laughs> How did I completely avoid the room that I'm looking for? That's tragic. I'm going in circles. I need to go down here. And this is just gonna lead us back to the elevator. Oh well. Maybe it doesn't do a loop then? Energize. Hi, Antable, welcome in. How are you? Something in my eye? I think we're good. Back to this awesome pool. Did I do a self scan yet? Self -scan normal. Complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. Yay! Oh, to be normal again. Wait, is this what I was looking for? No, that's the portal. That's good. To remember where that is, I guess. Although, doesn't that one go to the thermal plant? So that's not super helpful. Now that we have the thermal suit, I bet you can make a base in a... thermal... 
habitat. And then use those generators and they'd work way better than before. Nice decor, very green. They love green in this game. Oh my gosh, shutting down the thing. Here we go. We're gonna get poked. Needle. Oh god. Disable. Oh, I punch it? I don't remember punching it. Does the whole facility power off? making that noise. That's the doomsday device. Okay, I did want to go this way. It's so quiet in here now. Instantly horror game. it at all. It's so creepy. I want to go look outside at the tower. It's so dark, so dark. The warpers are coming for me. Is the game meant to be horror? No! Not necessarily. Though it can be quite scary at times. I wouldn't put it in the horror genre. But a lot of people would disagree with me. Well, I don't know. It's the intent of the devs is different than like how I feel about the game, so. Interesting. It doesn't look any different. I kinda wait wanna wait for daytime. watch it turn to day this moon's gonna come around do I want to wait this long not really I just think this tower was taller and now it's disabled that's all it definitely has some horror elements. I guess I could use my flashlight and just walk up there. Oh, never mind. I feel like the alien facilities are pretty creepy. Because at, at first, when you start going in them, you don't know if something's going to pop out at you. And I feel like in the beginning, when you have the first encounter with some of the creatures and you're not expecting it, that can be really creepy. But the more you play, the more you get used to, okay, if I hear this noise, that means this creature is nearby. So then it's not as sudden. Or you see it from a distance. And that helps. Can I really not make this jump? You've gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. Let's save them. 
It's like taking the trash out at night, very scary, only because you just binged Stranger Things, yeah. And I'm- and it's- if you have a pre-existing fear, is very different versus what was the game intended as. It's so... short now. Okay. Down we go! And I guess now we're going back to our base and the sea moth. And we gotta compile the resources for. Oh. The rest of the launch stuff sad it's too sad i don't like it but i'm glad your babies made it watching this reduce your fear of deep water somehow heck yeah exposure therapy <laughs> i don't like the like I mean, I guess you can come back and kind of pay your respects. Alright, how did I do this? Mm, zoop. What are the things I need? We need... Oh, I went past it. I forget that it's not all the way at the bottom. It's way up here. Aerogel, easy. Wiring kit, easy. Nickel ore, easy. Plasteel ingot, doable. Because we should have lithium. This is the one, yeah, the nan- nope, that's not it. You're not nanobots. This is the one. Game needs co-op? That would be fun. I've, I wonder if somebody modded a co-op mock-up already. Yeah, it does get kind of lonely. The whole point is that you are alone. But like, a co-op would be cute. You could be alone together. <laughs> I think it's different if you're playing a game co-op in an isolated environment versus having dialogue and story built into the other characters you meet. Like, I still think you get the feeling of that isolation if it's you and your teammate against the world. Versus, oh, I met an NPC and they have these things to tell me and part of their story. Now they're included in the world, too. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, let's make a swim for it! Oh, this was a bad time. No. It's fine. Totally fine. We're gonna avoid getting bit because of that branch. There is a co-op mod, but the game doesn't play well. Yeah. 
I feel like that's usually the case. Co-op in an isolated place. Have you heard of We Were Here? Yeah, I have, actually. I think I have We Were Here together. There's a multiplayer... Oh, yep. Weird quirks and glitches. Yep. There's a multiplayer mod for Outer Wilds, and I think it's the same thing. It's kind of glitchy, but still kind of fun. I've only seen it once. I've seen it, I think, in a YouTube video. And there's the blue. Watching We Were Here Together streams is hilarious, yeah. Liam, hi, welcome in, how are you? I only caught a little bit of Bears and Meg's We Were Here Together when they played, and I think Bears played with Bren as well. The sounds are- that's for me, Antable, that's the case that the sounds are way scarier than the actual creatures, because the loud noises right in my ear are way more jarring than the chase itself, I feel. Watching you live on Nintendo Switch, nice. Very cool. Um... Yeah, yeah, I know the clip. I love that clip. It's funny. Describing shapes to someone who cannot see those shapes, like really abstract. I don't know, it's a wiggly thing with a triangle with a desk. <laughs> Honestly, it depends more on the person you're playing with if you know what references they will understand, right? You don't have to give an accurate description if an inaccurate description that will make them think of the correct thing will work. The sounds are louder for me, yeah. That they are. Inside jokes get you far, yes. Just like Pictionary. Please be 10. 1, 2, 3. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I already had some. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Easy. Plasteel. Wait. Oh, it takes two lithium. I always forget that. Oh, I need lithium. Uh, nope. It's downstairs. An upside down pregnant Henry C Cavill could be the description you need? Yeah. You never know what might make it click. There's our plasteel. Next is two aerogel, which is rubies and gel thingies, and nickel and wiring kit. Well, we can make a wiring kit. That was weird. That's this one. Normally these bubbles aren't all blue unless it's the thing that you can make. It is really throwing me off that all of the options are blue here. I know I cannot make all of those things. Here's our ruby and nickel. I don't remember how much of this I need, but I need three nickel. And then I actually don't think I have any more gel sacks because... I use them in the bio generator, so we should be able to pick up pick up a couple quite easily. I hope. Ooh. 
Is it two rubies and a gel sack or the other way around? Nope, one of each. Yes! 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 Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. I can say that for some reason having Twitch on my Switch is quite interesting because everything looks crisp. Nice. That should do it. Aerogel. It's like you're playing Subnautica, but I'm doing the work for you, yeah. Okay. Good, good. Is that it? But we don't know what's going to be after that. So how many resources do we stockpile when we don't even know what resources we're going to need? Frustrating. So do we take the Cyclops with us and leave because it has all of our supplies? I cut, excuse me, I kind of forget how to get out of here safely. <laughs> I think we can actually go out the way we came in with the ghost leviathan. Is this further than you ever got? It's exciting stuff. I can't decide if I want to take the Cyclops with me. Excuse you. Or leave it here. If I take it with me... If I take it with me, then I leave the prawn suit behind. But if I take it with me, I can pretty easily get back to the prawn suit through a series of warps. I don't know, let's just go back. I'm kind of wasting time. Let's just go back with the sea moth. We can go back and forth for supplies if we need to. But I feel like a lot of what we need will be in the base already stocked. And if I really need to come back here to restock things, it's going to be kyanite and whatever else. Maybe take some kyanite with us since that we can only get down here. Oops. Oh no. Glitchy menu. Nope. Nope, do not welcome me aboard. I want to get into my storage. Thank you. What were these diamonds for? Oh, I think that's for the whole, whole thing. To make the whole stronger. I had like a wish list of other mods I wanted to make too. I'm gonna grab some kyanite. You've seen the ending, but one day they'll take your journey. It's good stuff.
what I want to know is if people keep playing after they're done. Like, if you have a save right before the ending, do you go back in and mess around and optimize your base and stuff like that? I feel like I'm going to want to. I'm so used to this world. I like it. And I have the one ion cube. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to need it unless I want to make more ion battery things. Let's go. I know there's below zero, but there's more stuff to do in here. Let's just go out this way. Past the little cave. Past the ghosty. Do you, think my sa do you think my same dodging techniques will work? I wasn't dodging because the tree branches weren't nearby this time. Oh, I got turned around though. low on power actually Whoop. that just spawned in front of my face this is a dead end no I was turning and I turned too many times oh wait no we're good weird we have to go past crab squids I think now Maybe? Maybe just warpers? Ooh, long-legged crabs? This is the place that I swear I had a beacon by, but now I can't ever seem to find it, so... Let's just hope for the best. When you can see the surface that far above you. It's sort of alarming. Okay, we need... This. Wait, let's save. We're just going back to our home base. I'm hoping we don't get intercepted along the way. But we might. I wonder if all these vents are actually near a door then that I missed. Today I learned there were a lot of doors that I missed.
These ones aren't so bad. They're lovely. They're very peaceful. Hi. Just stopping by for a visit. We go over so much ocean to get home. Go, go, go. I wish I had taken more screenshots. I still want to work on my base, but I enjoyed exploring. I think the thing I enjoyed the most was getting to new areas. Every time we finally got enough tools to get to the ne next depth, I was like, yes, we get to see a cool new area. Home sweet home. I think constantly on the edge is something gonna pop up. I was really for the issue for me. Yeah, definitely. Like, you're never Welcome sure when it's a active. safe area. I think the sound cues help me some, and you start to know, like, which creatures are in which zones. But even then, if there's one nearby, you don't know if it's gonna jump to get you or not. Because sometimes they don't come after you. The window for when you anger them is very strange. Do I have stuff in here that I want to bring to? If I want to make the whole thing, I still can't remember what it's called. It would be in here. Hull reinforcement takes lithium. Oh, I don't have any lithium here. That could be a problem. Solar charger. No, I think the main stuff left is the Cyclops mods. It is weird that, yeah, that they're all highlighted. I don't know why it's, my game has been really especially glitchy today, more so than other days. It's been really frustrating actually. Um, I actually don't need anything in here. What am I doing? We just need to go to the Neptune. Bam. It's out here somewhere. There it is. It swapped my LT and RT buttons today. That's been the biggest glitchy thing. I don't know that there's been anything else super striking. Um, other than the prawn suit got stuck on every ramp. The prawn suit glitched so many times today. Is that a panel over there too? No, that's just the elevator. Okay, here's our little helpers. Construct. Oh my god, that's loud. Boosters! Now give me the blueprint for the next thing. Oh, and we went through the map once today, too. I had a fun glitch where I could walk around the ocean floor and breathe. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's great. Safety mode. Okay, thank you. Fresh boosters. Plasteel ingot. Crystalline sulfur. Ion power cell. Kyanite. Honestly... I can take the ion power cells out of the sea moth. No, I think it only has one. 
I have one ion power cell in the sea moth and one ion cube, but to make an ion power cell, you have to make batteries. No, do I have two? I can go look. Or did I put two in the prawn suit? But now that we're at the surface, plasteel ingot is easy. Crystalline sulfur, I have a bunch of in the cyclops. Yeah, it's definitely frustrating to not know what you're going to need for the next blueprint. Wish they would give it to us all at once. Alright, so maybe we'll do this one and then figure out what's for the last piece and maybe save that. We're at three hours now. I maybe will make the trek and bring the Cyclops back up here. Huh? <laughs> Uh, off stream before we do our next building situation. So I think we just need. Did I bring all of the titanium with me? Oh, thank you, Adam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I brought everything. But we used a lot of it already, too, so... Let's do temporary. One, two, three, four. We have two extra kyanite. I'm gonna go look at the sea moth. Semi, welcome in. How's it going? How were your travels? I'm gonna try and sleep now. We'll leave the stream on to drift off. Of course, that's cool. Have a good sleep. Thank you. If it helps you sleep, it's not cool if it keeps you awake and you're not able to drift off. Yeah, there's nothing in here. No, I wanted to look at... There's just the one power cell. I don't need... It's not even an ion one. I put two in the prawn suit, yeah. Which I don't need that badly. <laughs> Paralyzed with choices. We could easily finish this one if I do one more trip back to the other base. In the meantime, I'm going to look for uh, scrap metal. I thought I saw something over here. I wanted to try to do it without the scanner room. Because the scanner room can be kind of annoying sometimes. Oop, that's a biter. How far is this from our house? This is really close. Huh. Go figure. Oh, that's a thing I never scan. Do you get an achievement for scanning everything? Every living creature? Probably. Oh, hello. 
I guess we do need the scanning room to have this go quicker. Let's go! Metal salvage. There's got to be some out here, right? Oh, there's some scanner bubbles. Like, even when we started the- these gas- gas pod creatures, the, the manatee looking ones, their noise that they make frightened me in the beginning. And then you start learning, like, okay, most of the loud noises are not coming from creatures as loud as they sound. But it's really unsettling at first. I think I can only carry one more of these. They're farther away than I thought they were. Alright, here we go. I'm assuming... Oh, I can carry another one. That's all. Back home. Back home we go. Disappointed that I didn't think to bring lithium with me. That's weird. Because that's going to be What? I never grabbed the reinforced gloves? I don't think I realized that was a thing. Weird. Which one of these is equipment? This one. Okay, thanks for the gloves. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Lithium. Where is lithium? Lithium is in a lot of different places. Mushroom caves. Lost River. In the lava pits. It's everywhere. If I break down... No, that won't work. Actually, if I break down one of the reinforcement panels, won't it give me... a plasteel ingot? But I can't get the, the raw lithium from it. But I don't think I need... the raw lithium. Reinforcement. Oh no, I do. Weird. I get one. I need two for a plasteel ingot. Let's go turn off the scanner. Stop. Did 
I put stuff in here? Oh, no. I tricked myself. It's just lead, lead and copper, no lithium. Where's all the lithium? Hmm. Then we might just leave it here. Next time we'll be gathering the rest of the supplies for the boosters, for the rocket, for getting out of here, for saying goodbye, and doing any last missions we feel like. We can save here in our little, our little captain's chair. I never sit here anymore. Thank you for watching. I'm now streaming Subnautica Below Zero every Sunday on my Twitch channel at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you to my Kofi supporters for July, Oracle the Great, Semi-Cortex, Toon Wolf, and 8-Bit Trav. I appreciate you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.